Hey everyone, so today we're going to have a look at my brand new sword from Tazando. So I'm currently out here in the country, I've been sent here for work, it's not the greatest, but thankfully I have my brand new sword from Tazando here with me. So we'll be having a look at this sword, its specs, and why I really like this sword. So this is the Tozando Shinryu, Byako Shinryu Kashirae Iaito. Bit of a mouthful, uh, it's basically a dragon themed Iaito, so a blunt training sword. Now I got this for about 555 US dollars, so in Australian dollars it's about 770 something. It's my first Japanese made sword and it comes with the Japanese made price tag. And at first I thought, oh well, is it going to be worth it? But when I got it, then I really thought it was because there's an attention to detail here that you don't see with Chinese made swords. You know, the way that all of the diamonds line up perfectly. The Ito is perfectly tight. There's absolutely no movement on it. No rattle in the sire at all. Um, and the way that they even make sure that the sepa, the spaces between the Fuji and the, and the guard are perfectly centered. Now it's a level of detail that you don't really see with Chinese made swords and I think that that just makes the sword visually stunning when you see it in real life. So let's talk a bit about the specs of this sword. So it's got a 28cm handle and a 74cm blade. It has a Kura Ishimeya sire, so it's a nice matte black finish. And it's got black cotton ito and sago and it's also got a white ray skin wrap underneath. Now it's got a dragon themed koshiraya, so we've got a nice dragon on a black iron guard. The guard's not too thick or too thin, it's a perfect size. And it's also got these gold dragons on the Fuji and the Kashira. Now it's also got dragon themed Manuki. Now if we have a look at the blade itself, then I'm not sure if the camera can see that, but it's got this really beautiful Gunome Hamon. And it's also got a secondary etch on the Hamon. So this mimics what they did with very expensive Japanese swords where the Togichi, the polisher, would go along with finger stones and follow the line of the Hamon to try and create a secondary etch to accentuate it. So it's really beautiful that they've done this. And this is an aluminium zinc alloy sword. So the Hamon is fake, it's not a ferrous blade, but it looks real, which is Pretty amazing to me because all of the Chinese made swords, their fake hamons don't really look real because they're wire brushed on or acid etched. This one looks real, it shimmers in the light and it just it just looks stunning. Now it's got a single bohi or a groove. Pretty good touch kaze. And so you know I'm very happy with the sword. Now because we are we have an Iato here and I'm in a hotel room. Let's do some Iado that we can do in this hotel room without taking up too much space. Alrighty, so I hope you like that and I hope you like seeing my brand new sword and you'll see this a lot because I'll be training with this in a lot of future videos. So with that, I'll see you next time.